you know, pray for Bigfoot. I think we should all pray for Bigfoot. Now, l listen, um, I'm not trying to make a mockery of prayer or religion or anything like that or people's souls, but I think we all should pray for Bigfoot. After all, um, if, like, say all, all dogs go to heaven. If all dogs go to heaven, can one assume that every creature on the way up in between, you know, man and, you know, human or animal and human also goes to heaven? So, like, unfortunately, there'd be horses in heaven. And I don't necessarily think that it, that would be heaven if there were horses in heaven. But what I mean is that if, if, uh, if uh, Bigfoot is like a, the missing link between like Neanderthal man and, uh, and modern man, what are we, homo sapiens, right? So, I mean, if that's a missing link, it's like, should, not, should we not be concerned for the soul of Bigfoot for every Sasquatch or Yeti? You know, I think that we should. I think that we should. It was like, why hasn't Wendigoon gone out into the British North, uh, British Columbia with his Bible trying to, you know, bring the redeeming power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to Bigfoot? I think that should happen. I think that somebody out there should be trying to witness to Bigfoot. Imagine having that guy on our side. God wants that guy on our side. You know why? Because God made him just as well as he made us. So I think it is important for us to be concerned about the soul of Bigfoot. All right? If your dog gets sick, would you pray, pray, pray on behalf of your sick dog? Hell yeah, you would. Because all dogs go to heaven. So what, do you think that because all dogs go to heaven that you don't have to pray for them? That's why you do pray for them. That's why you do pray for them. Because they go to heaven. And they're going to be there before you. And so they're going to put in a good word for you with the big guy. So I'm saying we need to be praying to Bigfoot. We need to be witnessing to Bigfoot and aliens. And aliens. If an alien comes down and gets out of his craft and he's like, I could t communicate telepathically with you. And you're like, oh, have you heard the good news of the, the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? You know, maybe that's why they don't approach us that way. Maybe that's why they abduct us in the middle of the night and play with our buttholes or something like that. It's, it's all about God, though, if they had telepathic powers. Because the second they got here, they'd go to somebody's head and they'd be like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Right, right. They'd be terrified <laughs> if they came to this planet. But there's a, a, a different angle to that kind of concept, which is that when Jesus said he's going to go and, like, witness to other, uh, other flocks and stuff like that, maybe he went to other planets, right? And these other planets, like, heard the word of Jesus Christ, and they're like, we got to go check out where this, the planet where this guy came from. And then they come to earth and they're like, whoa, there's, they're scanning our minds. They're scanning our media and stuff like that. And like, these people are insane. How did this guy come from this planet? You know, that could be what aliens are doing. They're sitting there like, oh my, what? From th these dirt creatures, these dirt monkeys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Jesus, the dirt monkey. And that's why we need to be worried about the dirt monkey known as Bigfoot. For, for, the, for the snow monkey known as the Yeti. We need to be concerned about the souls, the souls of these things. After all, um, if, if I'm right that Bigfoot exists, then we're doing the right thing on behalf of Bigfoot. If Bigfoot doesn't exist, then that's just going to give God a good giggle. Oh, I did alliteration there at the end. Oh, cool. It's almost like I practiced it in the car on the way over here. 